Hey, TikTok family, IG family, and Facebook family. It's your girl, Shay Major 15, front and center. This is my first time making a video specifically for social media. Um, I felt led tonight to do this, um, basically so I can get familiar with the process and so um, I can kind of find some topics that could potentially be relatable. So we will we will uh, name this particular series, Can You Relate? Um, in this particular scenario, um, I will share a little bit of history for this particular topic. And just let me know if you can relate. So just a little backdrop of my life. I was previously a single mother of three girls. Like most single parents, I did struggle to raise my three girls. However, I did it. To God be the glory. Um, in the process of raising my girls, I did attend college from time to time. <laughs> and I'll say time to time because sometimes work took precedence over school. So I had to kind of put school on a back burner. Well, my one of my last experiences with school, um, there was a situation that happened in the finance department where um, they created an error and guess who had to pay for it? Me. It was clearly not my fault, but they don't care about that. I have over the last 10 plus years been trying to contact the school Again, having wor worked in higher education for a short period of time, I know how that goes as well. You contact the school, you can't seem to get anyone on the phone. No one answers the phone, email, um, fax, certified letters, yeah, I I've seen it firsthand. In this particular situation, I sent several certified letters. I sent several emails to various individuals. I really didn't care what department you worked in. I still sent you an email no response. I made several phone calls. No one answered the phone. No response. Um, and this went on, like I said, for 10 plus years. So three weeks ago, I reached out to the school and I spoke with an individual at the school and he was very nice, very cordial. He asked that I send an email with the information. So I did. And he said he would forward that information over to another individual within the school. That never happened. So I reached out again um, by telephone, no one answered. And I did this for about the last two weeks just to confirm that number one, the email was received and number two, it reached the individual who could assist me further. Well, no response. So yesterday I randomly made a phone call to the school, um, specifically to the individual who I sent the email to he didn't answer the phone and that was fine because I was going to find someone else that could potentially assist me because it was during school hours. So I kept calling and I was finally able to get someone on the phone. So this is only the second person that I've spoken with on the phone, literally second person that I've talked to on the phone regarding my account. Initially, her, my conversation with her was, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <clears throat> so everything was laced with I don't know. Um, my question was, well, who do I talk to? I don't know. Um, I never asked her about the hold, and she just kept saying, oh, well, I can't take the hold off. Well, that really wasn't my question <clears throat> because I realized she probably couldn't take the hold off. I realized the hold was due to the financial that was, that was extending from... 10 years ago, 10 plus years ago, actually. So I understood that she couldn't take the hold off. I already knew they wanted some level of payment. So my next question for her was, how do I make a payment? Her response was, I don't know, but you want the money, but you don't know how I'm supposed to pay it. So she said, oh, well, maybe you can mail it. Then, she, then I asked, well, can I pay it online. And so she was like, oh, I don't think so. These are people who are working in higher education. I have a college student. This makes me very nervous that this is the future of higher education. That's number one. Um, number two, I have also seen where people like myself um, have found themselves 
in financial debt with schools. The schools hold their transcripts for years and years and years with no contact whatsoever. They don't call back. They don't communicate at all. I have spoken with people directly when I worked in that line of business. <clears throat> so I know exactly how that can work. It is frustrating. It is very unnerving um, to know that this is how higher education is handling our situations. A lot of us are single parents. Um, a lot of us have found ourselves from time to time in financial, um, you know, strapped financially and not really being able to proceed forward with school the way we might have wanted to. Some of us have found ourselves in situations like that. Thankfully, I have been able to take a class here and a class there over the course of the years to get myself in a different situation, but I want my degree and I want the classes that I already took and that I've already, um, you know, sacrificed the time for, but I also want to pay my debt. So with that being said, who can relate? Who can relate to having gone through situations like this with schools where you reach out to them regarding your debt that you know you owe and they haven't in any way responded back to you? No phone calls, no responses to your certified letters, no responses to your emails. Who can relate? At this point, I just want to go to school. I just want to complete my degree. All of my children, I am now an empty nester, so all of my children are now adults. Unfortunately, I recently lost my job, so I can't even do um, the, you know, the tuition reimbursement like I expected to, but that's okay. There's another way. Um, so basically for me, social media is going to be hopefully my outlet to get that done. Um, just kind of bringing you along in my life. This is my first go at it. I am doing this very nervously and Hopefully it will result in me being able to complete what I need to complete. And that's my degree and proceeding forward in life the way that I desire to proceed forward. So I just want to go to school. And for those who may want to sew um, to, to help pay down this ungodly debt, you're certainly welcome to. And it, you are most appreciated. My cash app, I will um, put it within the video and I will just, you know, Hope and pray that I can get this debt paid as soon as possible and be able to go to school during the summer and take you guys along for the ride. I don't know what school is going to be, but we are going to get a degree. So come with me on this journey so we can go to the next level and go to the next place where God would have us to be. Thank you so much.